This is Rukshika Rajkumar from Arduino Projects by R and today I'm going to present you my next project. The name of this project is Limiting the Crowd to Prevent the Spread of Coronavirus Disease. This model could be used in buildings such as shopping malls, supermarkets and offices. It could also be used in public transport vehicles such as trains and buses. Social distancing must be followed in public places to prevent the spread of coronavirus disease and one way to follow this method is to limit the crowd in public places. In this case, I have limited the amount of people entering the building as 15. So when the number of people inside the building reach just uh, 15, uh, no one will be granted access unless uh, someone else leaves the building. Humans could be used for this purpose, but using humans in this case would be less effective as there are lack of staff members in some places. So I made an automated system to limit the number of people inside a building or public transport vehicles. To learn how I did this project, please visit my blog. The link can be found in the description box below. Now I'm going to show you the components of this project and uh, the connections. For this project, you will be needing an Arduino Uno microcontroller board. You could also use the Arduino Nano. Uh, you will be needing an ultrasonic sensor HCSR Note 4 and an IR tracking sensor module. Uh, but you could also use an IR tracking sensor module instead of this ultrasonic sensor module over here. You will be needing a servo motor SG90, a 16x2 LCD display module with I2C interface. You'll also be needing a solderless breadboard. You'd actually be needing the power rail of this board. Uh, now let me explain you how this works. Uh, the ultrasonic sensor will be uh, fitted in front of the shop or uh, buses. And when you wave your hand over the ultrasonic sensor, uh, the number of counts will increase. Uh, the count in this uh, case is the number of people inside the building or uh, the vehicle. When you wave your hand over the ultrasonic sensor, the number of counts will increase and the servo motor will rotate 90 degrees. The servo motor is attached to the door in this model and the servo motor will actually open the door when it rotates 90 degrees. The door will remain open for 5 seconds before being closed again. And uh, on the LCD display module, we could see the updated number of people inside the building or the vehicle. And this IR sensor will be attached on the inside of the building. And when anyone comes out, they can wave uh, his or ha her hand over the IR sensor. And uh, once they wave their hand over the sensor, the door will open. And at the same time, the number of uh, counts will decrease which means that the that a person has entered out of the building and the number of people inside the building has decreased by one. Now let me explain you the connections. The ultrasonic sensor module's uh, trick pin is connected to D4. The echo pin of the ultrasonic sensor module is connected to D3. The IR uh, tracking sensor module is connected to D5. The servo motor is connected to D9. The SDA pin of uh, the I2C interface is connected to A4. And the SCL pin is connected to A5. Now let me show you how this works. So now uh, when someone's going to enter a building, they can hover their hand over this ultrasonic sensor module. So uh, now I'm going to hover my hand and I'll show you what happens. So the door will be open for 5 seconds and the number of people inside the building is now 1.
So now the number of people inside the building is nearing the limit number and now the number of people inside the building is 14. So now you can see that the maximum occupancy has reached because there are 15 people inside this building right now. And now let me try to show you what will happen if anyone else tries to enter. So now let me show you how the setup looks inside the box. So now I've got this IR tracking sensor module inside and when anyone wants to uh, exit the building uh, they can wave their hand over the sensor and now let me show you the door is open now so now you can see that the number of people inside the building is 14 the count is decreasing The door will remain open for 5 seconds. Thanks for watching. Follow my blog and subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay updated with my latest projects and tutorials. Don't forget to comment, like and share.